Hey, this is Professor Perez again. We're going to continue our work with conversions, but here we're going to deal with a metric system. And we're going to do some conversions that you may see if you're enrolled in a nursing program. And of course, we need our student semester, Charlie. He better be ready to go. <laughs> hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. What? Did you have a nice break? Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. Here's our first problem right there. <laughs> here, we're going to convert 456 decimeters to centimeters. So you should already know your metric prefixes. Deci, remember a tenth of, and centi is a hundredth of. Those were explained in the previous video. So go back and watch the metrics prefix video if you've forgotten those. Okay, so here we go, Charlie. Now, here we're going to write a ratio. 456 decimeters over 1. And now, we're going to convert those decimeters to what, Charlie? Meters. Meters, using the fact that 10 decimeters is 1 meter. Notice we put the decimeters on the bottom because we want those to cancel. Now remember, one meter, that's on top, 10 decimeters is on the bottom, right? Because one meter is 10 decimeters and those decimeters do cancel. All right, Charlie, now, what are we going to do now? Convert, Convert the to meters to centimeters by putting meters on the bottom, centimeters on top, okay? And remember, 100 centimeters is one meter. So we put 100 centimeters on top, one meter on the bottom, Meters cancel out, and our answer is in centimeters, because those are the dimensions that are left. All right, Charlie, so what is our answer? Put the numbers in your calculator, and what'd you get? 4,560. 4,560, and don't forget our units are centimeters. Don't forget to box your answer. Now, this problem could be done more efficiently okay, okay. if you know that there are 10 centimeters in one decimeter. If you know that, you can get the answer in one step. Now, some of you can do the answers a lot faster than the others because you know facts like these. But remember, there's only one answer. There's many different ways to get there. So, okay, so here we go. We're gonna do it in one step. 456 decimeters over one, we'll write that ratio. And if we know how many centimeters are in one decimeter, then we can use this conversion factor. Notice we put decimeters on the bottom 10 centimeters over 1 decimeter, because 10 centimeter is 1 decimeter. Decimeters cancel out, and right there, you're left with centimeters. You put the number in your calculator, you're going to get 4,560 centimeters, and there you go in one step. Okay. So either way is fine. It all depends on what conversions you know, or what equations you know. Okay, let's do another one. How many microliters are in 0 0.035 milliliters? Ooh. Don't get scared. Okay, now recall, a micro means one millionth of, okay? So therefore, there are one million microliters in one liter. Also recall that milliliters means one thousandth of. And so therefore, try to pay attention, there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. So there you go. So we're going to need those facts to do this problem. Now, here we go. We first write out a ratio, 0 0.035 milliliters, Charlie, over one, and we're gonna convert those milliliters to liters. Okay, well, remember, one liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. So notice we put the milliliters on the bottom, so they'll cancel, and our dimensions that are left are liters. This is the volume problem, by the way. Okay, now, we're gonna convert the liters to what, Charlie? Microliters. Microliters, that's right. So we have to put the liters on the bottom, microliters on top, and use the fact, Charlie, that there are one million microliters in one liter. Notice, liters cancel out, leaving you with the correct dimensions that you want to calculate, which is microliters. And so, get our answer here, put numbers in calculator. What'd you get, Charlie? 35? That's right, 35 microliters, right? That's not too bad, right? Don't forget to circle your answer. Let's go on. now. How many cc's, cc stands for cubic centimeters, or centimeters cubed, are in 11.6 deciliters? Now remember, one milliliter is really small. It's like a little cube there, right? Well, a milliliter is actually, uh, if you look at this picture here, is one centimeter cubed, or one cubic centimeter, so one milliliter sometimes referred to as 1cc, or 1cc means one milliliter, right? Okay, so we also need to recall 
that deci means a tenth of, and there are 10 deciliters in one liter. Also, that milli means one hundredth of, or one thousandth of, sorry, milli means one thousandth of, which means one thousand milliliters is in one liter. Okay, so here we go. We're going to convert 11.6 deciliters into cubic centimeters, or cc's. So we now begin by writing a conversion factor, putting deciliters on the bottom, liters on top, and notice one liter is 10 deciliters, right? Deciliters cancel out. Now we're in liters. Now we're going to go to milliliters, Charlie, right? So what do we put in the bottom? Liters. Liters on the bottom, milliliters on top, and use the fact that 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. Very nice. Liters cancel out, okay? And now, in our picture over there, we're showing you that one milliliter is actually equal to one cc, or one centimeter cube, or one cubic centimeter, however you want to say it. And so, notice we put milliliters on the bottom, centimeters on top, but one, one cubic, I'm sorry, we put cubic centimeters on top, mm -hmm. or cc's, milliliters on the bottom, and one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. And so there's your ratio there. Milliliters cancel out, leaving you with the cubic centimeters, or cc's. And so, our final answer, you put your numbers in your calculator. What do you get, Charlie? 1,160. 1,160 cubic centimeters. Very nice. Don't forget to box your answer. Whew. It's a tough one, right? Okay. Let's do one more of these. Now, how many microliters are in 437 cubic centimeters? Ooh, don't get scared, Charlie. Now, let's look at our picture over here. One milliliter. Okay. Again, it's about that big, respect, okay? It's really small. Now, that cube right there is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. Yeah. Now, what that means is that one milliliter is actually equal to one cubic centimeter. Yeah. Okay, so one cubic centimeter is actually volume, right? Centimeters cubed, length times width times height, and that's what, how much one milliliter is. Okay, Charlie, so now, to do this problem, recall, micro means what, Charlie? Millions. One millionth of. So there are one million microliters in one liter. Milli. Milli means one thousandth of. So that means there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. Okay, so here we go. How many microliters are in 433, th I'm sorry, 437 cubic centimeters? Mm -hmm. So here we go. 437 cc over one, 437 cubic centimeters over one. Notice here in our conversion factor, we put cubic centimeters in the bottom, milliliters on top. One milliliter is actually equal to one cubic centimeter. So, centimeters cancel out, our units are in milliliters. Okay, Charlie. Now, what do we do next, Charlie? Convert to liters. Convert to liters, that's right. We put milliliters on the bottom, liters on top. One liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. Milliliters cancel out. Now, we got to get to microliters. What do we put in the bottom, Charlie? Liters, liters. on the top. Microliters. Microliters, and remember, there are one million microliters in one liter. And liters cancel out, leaving us with microliters for our dimensions. And that's what we wanted. We put our numbers in our calculator, and what do you get, Charlie? 437,000. 437,000. Very uh -huh. nice microliters. Don't forget to circle your answer, and that's it. Whew. So there you go, conversions. Oh, what fun. Anyway, be sure you keep up with your homework. And if you have any questions, please see your facilitator, teacher, instructor, parents, whoever you have near you that can help you with your math. Anyway, it's time to get going. Whew. Tired again. We'll see you all again soon.